We have a great guest joining us. I can't wait for him to potentially clear up some stuff that might be, oh, complete bullshit. Mm. This man's an all-pro, an absolute stallion, and he just signed a brand-new two-year deal back with the Buffalo Beals. Ladies and gentlemen, friend of the program, Jordan Poyer. Yeah. Yeah. My boy! My boy! How's it going, man? What are you doing? Hey, things are fantastic. How are you, boss? You got to be pretty pumped up about everything. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. I'm excited to be back out here in Buffalo. This is home. This is where I want to be. This is where I belong, man. We got we to gotta run it back one time. We got to run it back one time. Okay, so we're incredibly happy for you, by the way. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Pump for Thank you, man. You. Uh, all Thank this, you. So a lot of Buffalo Beals fans thought there was no chance you were going to be back. I think we all kind of thought that because of the very – intelligent business-wise tweets that you put out about the taxes in New yeah. York are bananas. That's a fact. That's a matter of a fact. I'm just, I'm that, just saying facts. Yeah, that is not an opinion or anything, <laughs> but a lot of people thought that that might have ruled out the Buffalo Bills, which are the only team that have to adhere to the state of New York's tax policies because the Jets and the Giants are actually based in New Jersey. Mm -hmm. So the Buffalo Bills only team have to do that. But whenever people heard you tweet that or see that you tweet that, thought there was no way you are coming back to Buffalo. How do we get back? Back, and I think we can all say we are pumped that you're back to a place that you became, you know, all pro po at and have become such a face of, brother. Yeah, first and foremost, that's it, man. I'm just excited. I'm, I, this is, like I said, this is where I belong, man. Obviously, you know, you, you say some stuff in the offseason, people are going to take it and, and run with it and, and take it for how they see it. You know, I, just, I like to say the quiet part out loud sometimes, and, and some people don't like it. That's fine. But um, <laughs> it had really nothing to do with my decision on whether or not I was going to come back here or not. And I'm just glad the conversation continued to start rolling, so maybe we can make some changes later on down the road to fix some things. You know what I mean? So other than that, it had, like I said, it had nothing to do with my decision on coming back here, this is where I've always wanted to be. This is where, um, like I said, this is where I call home, man. And and, and I, I had to run it back with my boys one time, man, because I feel like we got a lot of unfinished business, man. We had a tough year last year dealing with a lot of stuff. And uh, so heavy, we're, we're going to work. Heavy, heavy stuff. Heavy stuff. Yeah, yeah, heavy stuff. We had talked about that during the Super Bowl, man. And, uh, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm excited for the guys that we got coming back. And it's going to be it's gonna be another fun ride, man. It's going to be another fun ride. Jordan, what was the the whole process like when you're kind of exploring your options? And were you in constant communication with Buffalo the whole time? Yeah, he told me. I mean, it's stressful, man. It was my, I mean, this is my tenth year in the league. Uh, it was my first year really going through the free agency process. Uh, when I was in Cleveland, I got hurt. Uh, I didn't really, you know, I knew I wasn't going to be a high free agent coming in uh, my, after my fourth year, and then I signed an extension after my third year in Buffalo. Uh, so this is really like the first time I hit the market, and I didn't really know what to expect. I didn't really. I didn't know anything, and I hate the unknown. I just hate not knowing. Um, it just stresses me out. I don't like it. And so, uh, you know, I just stay patient. I let, you know, I let my, my agent, Drew, kind of handle it behind the scenes. And uh, I had always known in my heart that this is this was where I want to be. I know there's a lot of talk about me going to Vegas or me going to Miami or me going, you know, wherever. But at the end of the day, um, this, is, this is home, man. And uh, I know a lot of Miami fans were probably – Probably pissed off when I signed yesterday, but or today, but uh, that's cool because what's a, what's a rival without a little bit of you know a little, a little bit of pushing and, t and pulling right here? You know what I mean? We thought you were going to Miami. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> we, we all we all thought you were going to Miami. Yeah. yeah, it was like a foregone conclusion. I think Bill's Mafia might even like thought that was a foregone conclusion. How's the reaction been? You getting a lot of love, obviously, on your socials. I would assume yeah, man. that fan base is absurd. This fan base is, is is just all love, man. I love these people out here. At least love these fans out here. They just showed so much love as soon as they realized I was coming back. Um, all the people in the in the facility just showing so much love. Uh, like I said, I didn't know what was gonna happen. I didn't know, uh, you know, I didn't know how how it was gonna shake out. I knew I could still play at a high level. I knew I still wanted to play this game. Um, and I, just, you know, still had a bad taste in my mouth from from the last from the way the season ended last year. And, and I just think, you know, with a with a fresh start and and, and coming in here, with, I I think we can do it, man. And that's why I came back, and that's why I wanted to come back, and I wanted to play with my boy Micah Hyde again because we are the best safety duo in the league. So why? Why? Good hell yeah! It's been like that for a long time. I feel like you long time ain't approving for a lot. You said Drew is that Rosenhaus? Yes, sir. It is Drew Rosenhaus, the best agent in the game. Whoa, 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 whoa. hey, hey! I want to let you know, Drew Rosenhaus, OG, right? Sports Center OG. commercial. He yes. has repped a lot of people, billions and billions and billions of dollars worth of deals. Yes. He, he's he got to feel a little bit, though, Mulligetta, this, hey. Oh, yeah. Chomping. Hey, Mulligetta, you don't, have you heard about, have you seen this guy work? Have you seen him yet? 
I, I know who you're talking about. I have I don't know. I don't know if I know the story behind what you guys oh. are talking about. Right Listen, now, if we were to get Drew Rosenhaus and Mulligetta, and they were our representatives for international businesses, sure, we'd be fucking great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I think we'd be in. A, I yeah. think we'd be in a great yeah. spot. Drew has yeah. done business in the NFL for so long, and he's based out of Miami down there. I think, right? He's yeah. down there yeah. in South yeah. Florida. Mm -hmm. Yep, he's, he's right next to my house. Well, not right next. He lives on South Beach on the, on the islands. He lives on the, the, the rich people islands. You know where? The, yeah, he's 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 doing all right down there. He's doing all right down there. Brandon Bean, <laughs> Brandon Bean, have to do any recruiting during this entire process? You said you were pretty hands off, and you did talk to Brandon a little bit. Have you ever like golfed with him, talked business, anything like that? Uh, I've golfed with him. I've not necessarily talked business. I, I like I said, I try to stay. Away from it all, like you know, that's I, smart, there, I, think. I had been, there had probably been a couple of times where I just wanted to hit him up and be like, "Yo, like, what the what the fuck is going on?" You know? like, you know, <laughs> We've been bring you back or what? But you know, I, like I said, I let I let Drew handle it and Bean, and they did a hell of a job. I just sat back and um, tried to stay positive. My wife was continuing to keep me positive through it all because that's it's stressful, man. It's stressful just not really you know understanding or knowing what's going to happen, um, how it's going to happen, how it's going to shake out. At the end of the day, I just knew I could still play at a high level. I knew I still wanted to be a part of this football team, and uh, I knew we got a lot of unfinished business to do. To get any done, you got to uh, rely upon somebody's opinion. You know, and, like I think the reason why it was stressful for you is because, like football, you go out and do your part, you handle your job, like you do your thing. You can, you know what success is. When it comes mm -hmm. to negotiating, you're like just relying upon somebody's opinion. <laughs> right. You know, it's yeah. like, I hope this right. person's opinion. I hope, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that gets an interesting thing. I, I, think it it's a smart, I think it's a smart play to stay out of it, though, if you don't want to be a part of it. Just live your life, let it all work out. It seems like it did. Pac-Man has a question for you, Jordan. Hey, Jordan, all pro pro. Uh, <laughs> what's up, Pac? What's going on, baby? How you living, man? I got a question for you. I do think um, you and your boy are, are pretty much the top two safeties in the league. Um, with Von Miller coming back this year, off the injury, what do you think y'all you guys have to do to get over the hump, defensive wise? Man, hey, new uh, DC too, right? Oh, new yeah. DC. Yep. Yeah, um, you know, I think it's just continue to stay consistent and continue to stay within our process. You know, I think last year with all the injuries that we dealt with, with everything that was going on off the field, you know, I think you, I mean, it's, you don't ever want to make excuses, but at the same time, I mean, dang, like there was, I don't know any team that had dealt with as much as we did yeah. throughout an entire season. Um, with the injuries, with with the snowstorm, with the ham, um, but I mean, we're, I, I, to me, the only thing it's going to do is make us stronger coming back, and especially when we got guys coming back healthier. Um, and Von Miller, he's only going to make people around him better. He's only going to make us on the back end better, um, and he's only going to make our football team better. So uh, he is a guy that we are excited to have back, and I am very excited. Was one of the reasons why I did want to come back again was to play against uh, to play alongside a uh, Hall of Famer and Von Miller. And, uh, you know, like I said, he makes everybody else around a better. Greg, uh, Ed, you know, Milano, hey, myself and Micah, Trinavis, right. he makes us all better. Um, and uh, so that was, I think, just continue to stay consistent and continue to trust trust our process. And, and you know, we'll get over that hump. Um, we'll get over that hump real soon. What I, Like, honestly, though, Leslie Frazier leaving has to be a big deal, right? I mean, that's... That's a huge ordeal, and the time it came, we're all hoping the absolute best for Leslie. We hope he has a great year off. We hope he gets re-energized, whatever it is. It could be tasking to do anything, especially how great and how long, if that's what it was. I don't know what it was, but it was just kind of announced at an awkward time. Um, that's a big deal, right? Is it not? Or Yeah. Yeah? I mean, yeah. I, you know, Frazier is a guy who's close to my heart, um, somebody who that when I came in here in Buffalo in 2017, he gave me a lot of confidence in myself to be able to go out there and perform at a high level. And so he's someone that I'll always have um, on my heart. And, and uh, he'd also be the first one to tell you that, you know, you never forget that this league is a business. And, uh, and you know, whatever, ha you know, what, you know I'm, I'm sure he's out enjoying his his time off um, and, and and doing what's going to make him happy. But at the same time, you know, this you know this NFL train is just going to keep moving. Whether I'm here, you know, whether y'all are there, the NFL train is going to keep just going. Over, so real. You know, over. So you got to just be able to continue to adjust. And, uh, you know, I know I know Bean and Sean and, and the staff here, they, they brought some really good guys and, and good coaches up here to help us get over that hump. And, uh, you know, I, I definitely will miss Frazier. Coach Frazier, he, like I said, he helped my career and he, and he helped me like I said, and that confidence that he gave me and just the trust that he had in me to be able to go out there and run his defense, um, you know, it's something that I, that I definitely will cherish for a long time. That's dope. That's hey, cool. earlier you mentioned uh, maybe down the road 
you'll be able to try to fix some things. Were you talking specifically about the Buffalo Bills, or are you talking about, like, New York tax policy? Right. What are you trying to change? Uh, I was talking about the taxes. Yeah. It's, it's out. <laughs> yeah out there. Go lobby. Yeah, yeah lobby. Do for something. Yeah. Hey, we all, we gotta hey, have more. We got to have more conversations. That's what we got to do. Good luck. We'd all be very appreciative, I think, that fully <laughs> uh-huh. understand it. Yeah. And, I, and I think, yeah. like, I think in theory, it's – a hundred percent, the right thing that has to happen. I mean, they're probably going to kick us off now, like yeah, kick, especially yeah, with yeah. how fucking big yesterday was. And then today, we even <laughs> dabble with this. Mm-hmm. We didn't know this was going to become. The, it's not on the sheet. No, 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 no. Tax <laughs> policy. no it's tax. not. It's not on the sheet. It's just like as somebody who has experienced it now for a little bit, it's like if I could pick where you yeah, know going to Florida, like boom, it's going here. It's going like <laughs> yeah. that. I think everybody would be cool with that. Like I, I think that would be. Uh, you want to go to. Uh, Defense, yeah. You want to go to roads, yeah. Oh, you want to yeah. go, you want to help the community, yeah. Infrastructure, it's like, that's what there's, I think. It, but then a lot of people just like, well, you guys are taking all my money. And I, I haven't seen a single. Flushing it down the toilet. I haven't seen a, so I, I think there has to be a way right. you could fix it. And yes. everybody could win, because you should help. Yes. You should help if you have yes. the means to do so. But I'm with you on this one, pal. This is one of the only yeah. things politically that I'll be like, I think every, the thought is 100% correct. We are all 100%, yes, need help. We give away fucking money on this thing mm-hmm. as much as possible. Right. As much as possible. Like, yo, I, I, we are big believers in like, hey, let's go. Because I come from a family that it would have been fantastic to get that type of thing. Like, And then experiencing it all as it goes, it's like, yo, this is kind of fucked up. This yeah. And then the people that have it figured out, they're already, they've been, yeah. you know what I mean? So, yeah. so like we're trying to, mm-hmm. we're, we're hey. trying, to, and they're up there, and they got to figure it out. So it's like we're looking up, like what the fuck are you guys doing? Right. You know, because we're, and then we got everybody else is like, you fucking selfish entitled. Yeah. It's like, well, I agree. I guess if you want to frame right. it that way, oh. if you want to frame it that way, we are selfish entitled right. assholes. But also. There has to be a better way. To do it. <laughs> there has to be a better thank way. You, thank you for saying the quiet part out loud. I appreciate it. Well, I mean, AJ wanted us to go here. Yeah, and yeah, that, yeah, AJ, yeah. Knew, <laughs> AJ knew this was happening. Following up. AJ knew this was happening. That's why he was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. They were saying that kind of shit by that he knows that that's a real conversation that we will never be able to change, though. No. Ever. Absolutely not. And we're not 100% saying we're right. I'm sure there's somebody out there that has it figured out that has never paid taxes in their life. And, uh, that's also another fantastic thing. And let's remember that, like, if um, if they add one, they ain't taking it back. No, no, <laughs> it's no, there no. Forever. I think no. That, that thing is there forever. The, yes. the, the people of actually say, you think they're going to turn uh, a thing off that Pick is just it? dumping money? You think they're just going to be like, yeah, no, we don't want that anymore. Mm, that, that we've is, done enough. That is no. never going to happen. No. But, no. but you still sign back with the Buffalo Bills. <laughs> yeah. hey, you're a good man. Good for you. You're a good man. You're giving back. Yes, sir. You're giving back to the community. Good guy. This yes, guy's sir. a good guy. Good guy. Wanted to pay oh, more tax. That's yep. right. So you sent me up there. Connor has a question for you, Jordan. <laughs> yeah, Jordan, obviously now that you're back in Buffalo, you know, looking ahead towards the season, you know, Rodgers, all signs point, they're going to the Jets. The Dolphins are adding guys. Bills in the AFC East are playing the AFC West and the NFC East, some pretty damn good teams. Have you talked to the defense? Like, hey, boys, this is going to be a long road this year. We really need to lock in over this offseason. Yeah, we know. We understand the. We understand, you know, the league's hard every year. Uh, you know, at the same time, teams got to play us too. So we're not, you know, it's not like we're, oh, you know, anything different. It's, it's just the NFL season. It's going to be hard. It's going to be grinding. And there's going to be, you know, adversity. There's going to be ups, downs, sideways. And, and it's usually the team that is able to handle all that adversity, handle all of, you know, the ups and downs. That's usually the team that's holding the, ho- ho- hoisting the trophy at the end. Because uh, every team has adversity. Every every year's hard in its own ways. You know, there's the NFL, each team, it doesn't matter if a team is, you know, 0-13 and you're, you know, you know, 12 and one or whatever that game that game is going to be a hard game you guys are getting paid too so um you know we understand you know there's you know i don't want to say a lot of the pressure or whatever because i think pressure builds diamond but we came up short last year came up <laughs> like that came no, up a little uh, short last year so you know yeah, came up a little short last year with all the expectations that we had and so let everybody else talk about the jets let everybody else talk about the dolphins and oh. we'll just kind of sit back in the weeds and, and do our thing and come up 
come up when they need us. It sounds like you don't think anybody's talking about the Patriots there. Fine, Connor, whatever. Connor, <laughs> okay. had, uh, Connor had to correct you there. Obviously. Sorry, Connor. Well, uh, Connor. That's what been a large part of the conversation the last couple two. days. Yeah. How about the past two? Uh, on them. Have you been paying attention to what's going on with the Jets? Apparently, you just did. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, uh, they, got, they got NFL Network on here right now. Looks like Aaron Rodgers trying to get a lot of his whole damn squad over there. I don't know. It's, it's crazy. I mean, he come out of the darkness <laughs> and he just started recruiting. And he just said, this is what I want. No, he didn't that. say that. He didn't say that. We learned that yesterday. We learned it yesterday, Jordan, that he did not say that. Um, sure feels like he gave some input, though. Yeah, he gave some answers. And they, cer <laughs> and they certainly said. Look, I love Aaron Rodgers. I, dude, I hope he gets whatever the hell he wants, man. I hope he does. Hey, why do you there. think every player that's ever talked about him says that thing right there, except for, like, one or two guys that then get put on TV every time something happens Former there? teammates who are uh -huh. Like, Why does every player basically be like, yeah, Aaron's a fucking – Aaron's the guy. Like, why do Man. you think that is? He's, he's he's real. Like, he's a real person. Like, he tells it like it is, and he doesn't he doesn't sugarcoat shit. He doesn't like, and I I respect that. Like, I mean, he he goes out there, and I mean, he talks about his his darkness retreat. He talks about his his ayahuasca retreats. He, I mean, he's a real person, and and I enjoy people who who can who can express themselves and not really care about what other people are gonna think. And, and you know, he spoke up during the whole COVID about what his opinions and wow. how he felt about it. And I respected that yeah. because nobody else was speaking up. And really, I agreed with him. And so, oh, okay. All you right. know, it was, it was, it was, you know, it's a lot of, you know, I respect somebody who can go on and say how they feel and not, not, not care what the public eye is going to really think about him. He literally, so that's a, bro, he's like the mentally toughest dude of all time. I, I've actually, 100%. I, I've told him that a couple of times. Cause then he can also a darkness just, retreat. <laughs> a, dark, a darkness retreat you're in the dark i saw him on y'all show and he was talking about it i don't know if i could do that dude the aubrey marcus one he dives into it even more oh, yeah. big time like he dives into what it was every time as we were first learning about it aj obviously had some of the best questions i've ever heard sure. in the history of journalism mm -hmm. oh, yeah. just immediately first thought aj's head well we're pooping right yeah. and how are we how well how are you even going to poop that but every time i tried every time he was giving an answer i would try to place myself in there you know, like I, uh, I'd be like, all right, let me see what it would be like in my brain. I'm going to try to put myself <laughs> in that situation. And every time I put myself in there, I'd like, oh, like I freaked out. Mm -hmm. like, Why am I in right. there? No way. And then he started talking about it. Food served once a day, 6 p.m. through a slot yeah. in the window. Slot bucket. And it's like, <laughs> you know, one of those days he was just milling next to it. Like, uh -huh. Ought to be close. Yeah. You know what I mean? Freaking I would freak out every time. The mental... Toughness. And then think about all the emails and texts when you get out of there. Yeah, geez. Holy fuck. Yeah. <laughs> that anxiety would be weighing on me in the dark. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Right. I'm, I'm missing having so much shit. I'm going <laughs> to. Yeah. Yeah. He did, he did it though. And he gets buried by some people. Man. People people say some rude stuff. A lot there. of people. And I see it. I saw it in different languages there for a while. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, was, it was very, very rude. Ty has a question for you. Yeah, you, Jordan, you mentioned the stress of everything and not really knowing. Like, have you? Did you have any chance to like kind of enjoy the first part of your off season here, or was like the weight of everything kind of making it so like that was all you could focus on? And now that this is kind of done with and and you can kind of relax and enjoy yourself are you gonna be playing golf six days a week or what are the plans here moving forward yeah man so i did enjoy it the first two weeks i went to the pro bowl it was my first pro bowl so i was able to go out there pro bowl po hey, 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 hey. Hey. appreciate it appreciate it uh was able to go out there and enjoy my time out there went a long drive three at 320 so any of y'all trying to see me on the golf course you're not out driving me so uh, other than that went to arizona saw you boys out there in arizona had a great time in arizona um, really after that, things kind of started to get a little, a little bit stressful. I, you know, after that, it was really kind of the unknown. Yep. There it goes. 320 right there. Great down swing. the middle. Dude, look at that ball flight. <laughs> <laughs> at altitude in the desert. But I do it. I do it too. Hey. Don't say, don't, you didn't have to throw the altitude part out. No, 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 no. You know, course, you know, course, no, 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 chill out. People don't know that. <laughs> People don't know, don't know that shit. Oh, <laughs> Um, but yeah, it was stressful, man. Uh, like I said, not knowing, um, but I also, I, I knew that my heart, I wanted to be here. Um, you know, I wanted to, uh, it was, it was just tough. But then you know, once I signed, once I signed today, it, it felt like a whole lot of weight off my shoulders. And now I can go out and golf and enjoy my time on the golf course and really kind of kick back and, uh, and play some good golf. We knew you signed today, man. That's right. We yeah. knew that. Congratulations. Woo!
Thank you. I appreciate y'all, boys. Hell yeah. AJ, didn't we? We were talking about that yeah. earlier. Pre-show meeting. Well, he's on pre-show here. Meeting. Yeah, right. absolutely. So, did you have a cool? Is that what you wore? Did you get a photo? Glasses on, glasses off. Did we? Yeah, have- I had the glasses on. You know, I was smiling. Oh. You know, kicking back. You know yeah, what I'm saying? It. Yeah. I'm proud. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is how, this is how I signed right here. How cool was that? You felt okay. so cool. I bet. Like you felt real nah, cool. I, man, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> Think about how cool you would have to feel if you did have yeah. that. Wow. They always, yeah. Oh, there it is. I, I'm not that. I'm not look that. how cool you do look. Yeah. yeah. Hey. Damn, B. Thumbs Be, up. Bean with the thumbs up. Casual. Yeah. Casual. Hey, fucking pumped about it. Got him. <laughs> pumped about it. I, want, I wonder if there's any photos that Bean's taken where he's like. Yeah, way out there. Like just a sign to himself. Yeah. Like, hey, don't love this deal. <laughs> you can tell exactly how I was. That one pumped about it. We're happy for you and the Buffalo Bills, man. Tone has a question for you, probably the last one. Yeah, Jordan, uh, we've been talking to the new assistant uh, GM for the Buffalo Bills a lot this year. Um, have you talked to the new assistant GM for the Buffalo Bills, Vaughn Miller, and asked, like, hey, can you get me an extra million or two? This season? <laughs> or have you, uh, you asked him what was no, going I, on? I, I, I'm sure he had some more of a play to get me back here. He called me as soon as he heard the news and was like, ah, oh, pro, pro, boy, coming back. And he does his little laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I, love I love I love that laugh, bro. It's contagious. That thing is contagious. But um, I was super, like I said, man. When I got a phone call from him, man, Micah, Tredavious, all my boys, it really started to lift all that weight off my shoulder and really get me, you know, just kind of it, – it's really almost surreal, you know, uh, just being here again, um, you know, after, after the way the season ended and being here, talking to y'all again. It's like I never left, you know. It's like I'm here – Let's get it done. Let's keep going. Let's keep it rolling. We, you know, we gonna have to, we gotta have that weekly show again this year. Come on! Have, oh, yeah. also, hey, hold on. Again. You had a podcast, right? I mean, that yeah. was the thing. Uh-huh. You had a podcast. Yeah. You had your own show. Yeah, I did until I said the taxes thing, and I needed things to settle down a little bit. So I kind of, I kind of shut it down for a little bit. What? And people got, people got real mad at me for the taxes. I was in the middle of, I was in the middle of the the, the free agency process. No, that's because. That's because Bills fans thought podcast. you weren't coming. Yeah. They're like, yeah. that's not yeah. our yeah. fault. Yeah. We didn't make that decision. Yeah, it's good. It's good. You know, yeah, but, I, but I'll get back on. I'm gonna get back on it soon. Okay, it is the Jordan Poyer podcast. Yes, it is on YouTube. Hell yeah! You get off every week. I'll get on. I'll, I'll put it on. I'll put one out next week. So y'all look it out for next week. Hey, here we go. Are you? Uh, what? What's the show? What do we got going on? Are we talking to somebody? Episode, we go- episode nineteen, I believe. I hey, let's go. Episode, wow. episode nineteen. Yeah, we're getting we're getting through it. Um, oh. not sure what the what it's gonna be. Probably all about free agency. I'll probably tell, tell the story. everything about. Jeff Warren yep, tell the story. Hell yeah, you should absolutely tell your story. Cannot wait to hear the behind the scenes on your podcast. 19, then you're going to be at 20. What? Next thing you know, you're going to be at 100. What? And 200. What? You just keep going, man. They just start I just belong going. on the show, man. I just belong on the show, man. Golly, come on. Yeah, yeah, you're the best, dude. We appreciate you. We're happy for you. Congrats on a new deal. Thanks, Ladies boy. and gentlemen, hey, real quick before we get out of here, it would be essential for me to tell you that I have a little quibble here at the end of the line. That guy hits the fuck out of a golf ball over there. Mm-hmm. We need In my head, I was like, oh, we need to set up a long drive. Yes. That's like in my head, I thought to myself, Pro Bowl, brilliant idea to have long drive in there. Mm-hmm. A lot of golfers around the NFL, so I think that was a good idea with Vegas being there. It's like... A long drive is a easy, perfect. Yeah, it's, it's an easy piece of content to make. That is awesome. We're lost yes. on the mic, and we have enough humor. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We're lost. He's going to want to be in it. I think. Yeah, oh, probably. Yeah. There's be. a lot of humans we know. We got to put up a real prize though. Yes. You know, put up like a million bucks or something. Juice the balls Ooh. a little bit, like Top Golf. I, we, Big I, time. We'd have yeah. to go to altitude so you guys feel like you're really <laughs> demolishing <laughs> balls. I told you not to say that, man. Oh no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. Uh, no, yeah. The only time I ever saw that guy hit though was at altitude too. We were at Tahoe, so like. It's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. That's not a bad thing. AJ, how how far do you hit it on Earth, like uh, sea level? <laughs> I've never. Uh, I don't know. I've never really. I've only ever tried it out in Tahoe, so no clue. Probably like two fifty. So you're an asshole. Yeah, that's okay. possible. You are an asshole. Get out there. You are hitting you hit it a lot. further. Last drive at Tahoe, hit it four hundred yards. yards further. Out there. Hey, have you ever played with Thielen? You ever played with Thielen? He I haven't. I heard he's pretty nice though. <sighs> Bomber. Yeah. He, yeah, I heard he's pretty nice. He's three, got everything. What was that? He does. He literally does. He played high school, I guess. That was mm-hmm. a big thing. He played mm-hmm. in high school, so he's been coached before. He knows why things are going wrong. He won the championship in high school. Yeah, state, state champ. He, 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 oh, he, right. he won the state oh, championship. Damn. Very natural wow. swing. Dude, yeah. three wood. Okay, the Bahamas. I think it's sea level. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. Yep. On yeah. the sea. I think it's in in sea. the sea. Yeah. Yeah, we were actually there. <laughs> three wood par four. I think it was like 325 or something mm-hmm. like that. This fucker... 
Over the green. Yeah, flew over. The coop. Three off wood. The tee? Three what? wood. Three oh my wood. Yeah. Fucking boom. It might have skipped off a hard part Skip. of yep. something or whatever. <laughs> but that thing went over the green. I'm like, <laughs> I started. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Yeah, you know, uh, what <laughs> was uh, with him? <laughs> what was Drewski's reaction whenever Mac McClung won the dunk contest? Drug test that white boy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was literally my first thought whenever Thielen hit. <laughs> I was like, this guy is yeah. cheating. There's no way this guy just did that. He's phenomenal. Right. Are you a very good yeah. golfer? Long ball hitter? I'm a I'm a I'm a solid golfer. I'm an eighty to eighty five. That's good. good. Ooh, oh, you're a good, good golfer. Good. Good. You're a good golfer. Solid. I never broke 80. I've hit 83 times my in my life, and I've never broke it. I've, it's coming this offseason, though. You played any of those really hard courses yet? Like those super? Uh, yeah, I played at Bears Club two weeks ago with Mr. Bisky and Jack Nicholas, and he played with Jack Nicholas. It was Jack Nicholas' son, and it's amazing to watch a professional golfer actually play because, I mean, everything is so smooth, and it just seems so easy. He's hitting the ball 260 down low fairway. His second shot is four feet from the pin and he's just punting for birdie and if he doesn't make the birdie just kicks the ball in with his foot and like i just wish i could do that that'd be so much fun it'd be so, it'd be much, so fun. much fun i'm sitting here looking for my balls in the woods like, hey jack <laughs> my ball? No, i'm talking to a pro asking him to look for my ball it's crazy. i played at a golf course that had caddies and stuff you know and we walked the, yeah the amount of like rights that they were having to do and then the see the and then the people that were up in the now they're the ones looking for it mm -hmm. in the thing or whatever and everybody else is like uh, right down the yeah, center cut. Yeah. It's like, yeah, all right. Yeah, it's a tough game here. Yeah, I play, tough game. I played with a guy who was like a fucking pro golf. It was, it, to your point, watching them golf is hilarious. Different game. It's like, oh, the whole man. different, the whole different game. In the TV. Well, good luck with that now that you got a new bag. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. pro bowler and all pro Jordan Porter. Yeah. Yeah.